Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and today I will show you how you can record screen on this phone. So to get started you will want to pull down your notification panel and in here you have a bunch of toggles. What you're looking for is the screen recorder toggle which is located for me right over here. This is the default location of the toggle so hopefully for you it's in the same place. Now from here you want to, if you're doing this the first time, uh, you want to hold this this will quickly take you to the settings where you can customize how this actually functions. So in here we have a screenshot toolbar, so this is going to bring up a toolbar, a high status and navigation bar. It's completely up to you if you want to have it or not. We have delete shared screenshots. I guess these options are kind of relevant. Actually, these are all for screenshots, to be honest, as it's written on the top. So uh, let's scroll down where we have sound. So this will define um, what the phone records, uh, what kind of sound. So we have no sound, media sound, or media and mic. Now for the last option, media and mic, I recommend using headphones. If you don't, uh, whatever sound goes to the speakers will be recorded by the microphone again, uh, creating an echo effect that you might not want. Below that we have video quality, which already is set to 1080p, which is the highest here. So that's uh, nice. We don't have frame rate uh, section right here, but I believe it records at 60 frames, which is already good enough. So there we go. And below that we have selfie. This allows you to enable your uh, selfie camera that will be included in the video. And the well, selfie right here that I can see, this is the actual size that will be visible on your screen once you enable it. So you can make it bigger if you want to, or make it even smaller if you prefer to have it like super tiny. And then obviously the choice is up to you. And show top, uh, tops and touches will include basically where you were touching or sliding your finger on the screen and the video recording because obviously uh, video recording has no way of showing that uh, where your finger is so that's basically how it imitates it. So from here once you set it all up the way you want to you can close this and you can now go back to the toggle, tap on it, select start recording. It gives us a countdown which we can quickly skip and there we go. So right now it will be recorded. And as you can see under the little uh, pencil tip, uh, you have this uh, like grayish dot. This is just to show where, the, uh, where I'm touching the screen. Additionally, you can draw on our, on our screen as you can see. You can add that selfie camera, which is visible right here. I can move it around if I want to. There we go. I can pause the video, as you can see. Um, so when you pause the video, you can open up some kind of apps, maybe log into some kind of account that you didn't want to see or have it seen on the recording. And from there, I'm just gonna open up something. There we go. Actually, make it a little bit more interesting. What can I open up? Gallery maybe, photos. There we go. And I'm gonna just resume right now. And from here, I can stop it. So, uh, once you have captured your uh, video, you can actually find it in our gallery, which I already opened up. And when you go into albums, you can see that it creates a specific album, screen recorders. And in here, you will find your, obviously, recordings. And as you can see, there is our recording. Now one thing to mention, uh, the little overlay that was visible on our screen is not visible on the recording. This is only to for you to see when you're recording, you can interact with it, but it's not gonna be visible ever in the actual recording. And there we go. So that is how you can record your screen. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.